Okay, uh, good afternoon and welcome to this additional Development Management Subcommittee meeting today on the 30th of January. The demolition and replacement of the Art Tech building will not enhance or preserve the special character of the area as the design and materials are totally inappropriate. And a final quote from Architecture and Design Scotland about placemaking. It states, the future is not about replicating the past, it is about understanding it and working with it. This matters because place matters, because place matters are all about people. I will invite you to consider some of the design elements and the policies that we contend the application is against. Policy DES 1, design quality and context. The proposed building is too tall at seven stories. Policy DES 3, development design. The present modest low-level building is a rare 1930s structure in Leith Walk that adds to the character of the area and it has not been incorporated into the design. Policy DES 4, development design, adverse impact on setting. The height and the form are out of proportion to the streetscape and will have an adverse effect on the local area. Policy DES 11, tall buildings. The building is two to three stories taller than the surroundings. Policy DES 6, sustainable buildings. The student residence does not make use of low or zero carbon generating technologies. I migrated from Cape Town, another port city, to study town planning in Edinburgh inspired by the urbanism of Patrick Geddes. Cape Town's old town was devastated by apartheid. The diversity was diminished. Leith Walk has that diversity. What we would like to see is fair diversity. Where else can you get a town centre nowadays with barely one empty shop? Leith Walk is a mecca for small affordable shops mingling with lively eclectic low-rise tenement flats. Um, policy Environment 5, Conservation Areas. We community councils have to abide by the rules, and others, including developers, should do so too. As underlined by Historic Environment Scotland, there's a presumption for retention of buildings in a conservation area. This building is in reasonable condition and could and should be retained and renovated. However, there has apparently been little reasonable effort made by the developer to retain the building. Since then. Now, both the Council and Historic Environment Scotland state that the existing buildings contribute positively to the conservation area. And it's worth noting that these buildings have been included in the conservation area when it was extended in 1998 with the deliberate intent to make sure that their character was conserved, was preserved, was preserved and enhanced. The permanent damage and negative impact to local business should not be underestimated or ignored on this application. When the applicant bought the building, it housed entrepreneurs, studio owners, charities, artists, workshops, accountants, teachers, and small businesses. It has been noted that the applicant has stated that they have had long-term failure to secure viable tenancies, and the poor appearance of individual lets are part of their reasoning to demolish this building. Both statements are incorrect. The applicant has systematically removed traders, studio owners and entrepreneurs from this building. For more than eight months, the Safe Leaf Walk campaign has led a genuine local consultation. We have listened to residents and businesses in Leaf, and we have held weekly street stalls, huge public meetings and canvassed opinions. Other than the developers, we haven't required the services of paid PR companies to solicit supporters for our campaign. Our support has been organic, widely, and deeply felt. As members of the public, we have spent time analyzing reports, understanding planning laws, researching architecture and town plans. We have found that the proposed development and demolition fail on 19 Scottish Government and Edinburgh Council planning policies, many of which you have heard by now. The Leith Conservation Character Area Appraisal 
states that the demolition of unlisted buildings considered to make a positive contribution to the area is only permitted in exceptional circumstances. Historic Environment Scotland does not consider that the information provided justifies the demolition as there is no structural or actual impediment to reusing the building besides financial considerations. My feeling is the vast majority of people in Leith want to see this developed as a site. That is not to say the majority of people in Leith want this building demolished or um, the application to go forward in the way you set out. On policy grounds, you should object to the application to demolish. Policy EMV5, conservation areas. Policy EMV6, development. Policy DES1, design quality and context. Policy DES3, development design. Policy DES4, development and design. Policy DES5, development design amenity. Policy the key uh, thing in terms of this is that it isn't a residential-led development. In no way do I think we can describe it that way. And uh, that's what we need as a community, and that's what our policies steer us towards, and that's what I'd ask you to project the application and hold steady as a council, as a planning authority, for a residential-led development that the community needs. As you're both ward councillors, you'll obviously have an awful lot of people who've written to you regarding this application. Could you give us an idea of, obviously there'll be people who objected, but how many offers of support did you get from your own residents? Um, it, it definitely feels using the judgment of the amount of information and conversations that uh, I've been part of, that it's the vast majority of people um, who oppose it. It's probably something like three or four to one. We've already heard how the proposed seven-storey building is in Congress with its surrounding area in terms of its height, scale and massing. It is successful only in serving as an example of overdevelopment. It is monolithic, overbearing and is altogether too much for the site on which it is proposed to sit. The proposed demolition at Stead's Place truly shocked this community and while development behind the walk was expected, the demolition of Horace White's quirky red sandstone buildings, unique in the city, was not. An integral part of the walk offering welcoming light and adding to the idiosyncrasy of the area, the idea of their loss and the loss of the businesses galvanised the community, and it did so in a way as bold as the buildings themselves. In this proposal, we see no evidence of any demand for a hotel to be built on Leith Walk. We see no evidence of innovative thinking in social housing models. We see a giant us and them structure which separates students into a high-rise block rather than integrating them into the community and leaving the affordable housing tucked away behind almost as an afterthought. So in summary, the soon-to-be vacated dilapidated retail parade at the front of the site does not make a significant contribution to the conservation area. Uh, the structural report that, that accompanies the planning application, um, it, it concludes, and it's been said here a couple of times already, that the building is in reasonable condition. Uh, and that is based on a visual inspection. Yes, it is. It's not falling down. I think the uh, demolition conservation area consent is absolutely clear. We heard compelling reasons from Terry Leventhal how it's actually contrary to, to, to law, not just contrary to our policy. It's contrary to Section uh, 64 of the Planning, Listed build, Buildings and Conservation Areas, Scotland Act 1997. It's also contrary to Environment 5 and Environment 2. Historic Environment Scotland and their response are absolutely clear that the building retention should be, there should be a presumption for the building to be retained. I started from a different position from most people today because I thought on balance I was probably going to approve this today. However, I am not going to speak in favour of this application now. Um, and that comes from the evidence, so just to say that hearings are useful to have. As my colleague has stated, it is in breach of How 8, and How 8 is there for a very good reason. You don't want to put too many transient people in one area. I actually think students are very good for an area. I, th I think they make it uh, more vibrant. I, I think that students can be a very, very good thing, but not so many compared to such little housing. 
The other thing that's kind of upset me and appalled me is that some of the language being used today, good enough for, for Leith, uh, limited um, significance. Well, I think we've proven from the public uh, perception that there's a great significance to these buildings, and I think that should be thought out a bit more sensibly in the first instance. Mm. Just to confirm, the committee is rejecting the conservation area application as well. So that.